What's up, YouTube friends? My name is Danny Jones, and welcome to Jones Vibes. Jones Vibes. First and foremost, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and if you enjoy it, please go ahead and click that heist button, I mean like button, and then go ahead and hit subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. That'll keep you up to date when I make more content. And today we're talking about the Disney Pixar spinoff of the animated film Cars, Ambulance. Oh, it's, it's not Pixar? It's a Michael Bay film. Well, sweet. And yeah, I'm talking about Ambulance, and uh, this was a pleasant surprise for me. And before I dig in, just to let you know, this is a spoiler-free review, so don't worry about that. You know, I saw the trailer for this a couple months ago, and uh, I've been getting excited about it. I was mainly curious because Bay is back. And I'm not talking about the Golden State Warriors, although that would be tight. I'm talking about Michael Bay. Growing up, he had a huge impact on me. I mean, I'm talking about Armageddon, Bad Boys, and then a little later, Pearl Harbor, and then possibly the best popcorn movie of all time, Transformers. His movies are generally a good time. I mean, he did kind of just keep making Transformers movies, and let's just say they didn't maintain the same level as the first. <laughs> but I really haven't been excited for a Michael Bay film uh, for quite a while. And here we are, and let's break down the main three in the cast, shall we? We start with Jake Gyllenhaal, who is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated lead actors in Hollywood. Marvel fans know him as Mysterio, and other folks probably know him from a lot of different projects. But he has had performances that are simply mind-blowing, and I just personally feel like he doesn't quite get the credit that he deserves. Nightcrawler is a really great watch if you want to see him expand his range a bit. But besides all that, he gives 110% in this movie. His character of Danny that he brought to life was so over the top and uh, interesting. But next we have Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, the man that is always over my shoulder these days. And I mentioned during that review that I couldn't wait to see what this dude does in the future, and here we are. He's proving that he is an elite caliber actor. And once again, I just want to see him in more. I just want to keep seeing him in projects because he's awesome. And then rounding out this trio is Aza Gonzalez. I hope I'm saying that right. But she's a little new to the scene here in the States, but apparently she is massive in Latin America. She's like a super famous television and movie star, and she's also a pop singer. Kinda just sounds like she's in sync, if you know what I mean. But yeah, if you're not familiar, you might recognize her from Baby Driver. Uh, she was in Baby Driver as well as Godzilla vs. Kong. And I thought she did a great job in this. It's a very interesting role to play. She plays this kind of badass EMT, and she, she nailed it. And also, bonus character that I wanna bring up really quick, this movie finally tells us where Todd from Wedding Crashers went after that movie. It turns out he's an FBI agent now. So good for him, you know? And also, I want to let him know the painting was a gift. So, I'm keeping it. But with that out of the way, I just want to talk about my thoughts on Ambulance, as well as why I think we need more movies like this. Over the past while, the atmosphere at movie theaters has kind of changed, especially now that they've reopened. Like, we have these huge movies that everybody's anticipating, and, and I love it. Movies like No Way Home and Dune are awesome, and we're spoiled but I go to those movies with a certain expectation. I almost get nervous beforehand. I'm like, oh, I hope this is really good. And then during the movie, it can feel sometimes like you have homework. You're like, oh, is so-and-so actually gonna be in this movie? I wonder how this thing is gonna tie into the next one. And it feels like I just haven't been able to go to the theater and not care in a while. And no offense to Michael Bay, because this is actually meant to kind of be a compliment, because his movies are something that I don't have to care about if that makes sense. It's a popcorn blockbuster with big explosions and cheesy dialogue and a little bit of heart and awesome performances. And this movie in particular made me feel like I was a kid again, just going to the movies on a weekend with my friends and just having a great time. And the plot really is so simple and it doesn't take hardly any time just to dive straight into things. IMDB says, two robbers steal an ambulance after their heist goes awry. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Jake Gyllenhaal plays Danny, a professional bank robber and con man. And his brother, played by Yaya, is named Will. And Danny pretty much ropes Will back into a life of crime after he returns from serving overseas. And so I was like, okay. And it definitely had some familiar vibes. Kind of felt like I was watching The Town 
or it was reminiscent of End of Watch. But from there, they obviously end up in an ambulance with uh, Cam, who's the EMT. And basically, it just ends up being this crazy action thrill ride of a movie. Cop cars flipping and jumping and crashing in pretty much every way imaginable. In cheesy dialogue that I absolutely loved, they're talking about Danny, the FBI guys, and they're like, that's Danny Sharp. He's the best damn bank robber I've ever seen. <laughs> and things like that. Just like the cop lines are the best. Like, man, that guy can drive. It's so good. And without knowing it, it was the movie that I needed right now. What really got me thinking was I was walking out of the theater at the end. And I want to reinforce that everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But there was this group of younger than me people walking in front of us. And they were very loudly complaining and criticizing the movie. Things like, man, the dialogue was so dumb and the explosions. And they were just kind of making fun of it. Loud enough for everybody to hear as we were walking out. And so to bring it back to my point, this is why I feel like we need movies like this because it feels like people have forgotten that it's okay to enjoy a popcorn flick. Some people have even forgotten what they are because this movie knows exactly what it is. It knows that it has cheesy dialogue and big explosions. I mean, it's, it's Michael Bay and the actors and the composer and the cinematographer, everybody's giving their all. Like everybody went so hard. Everyone was on board. And when I was coming up, it always felt like the audiences were too. But it seems like we have forgot. And so <laughs> apparently this is my love letter to Ambulance. Thank you for being exactly what you are. There is at least one movie fan out there that appreciates it. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much my thoughts on this. If you do have the time, I highly recommend in going and checking out this movie. I know that there are other options out there, but if you feel like going to the movies and just having a great time, I think it's worth it. But anyway, I would love to hear what you thought about it. Have you seen this movie? And if you haven't, are you looking forward to this movie? Are you a fan of popcorn flicks as well as Michael Bay? What are your thoughts on him? Feel free to reach out. I would love to hear from you. As well as if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and click that like button for me. That helps me get seen by more people just like you. And also hit that subscribe button. I make a lot of content and I would be happy to have you be a part of the Jones Vibes community. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at Jones Vibes Only, so feel free to start some dialogue there. And yeah, that is Ambulance. I hope everyone out there is safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you next time.